Hey everyone, how you doing? If you saw my last video, it showed three different ways to make holiday cards or have your students make holiday cards. So with Adobe Spark and with Canva and with Google Slides. So I was asked for a little bit more in detail with the Google Slides and to be able to make it for the youngest of grades like K to two, but it would still work great for any grades and your students will be able to work at whatever their level is. What I encourage you to do is make this a learning experience so you could up the level of your students' skills using Google Slides so they'll be able to apply these later in class. I'll go ahead and show you what I'm talking about. So I will go ahead and give you this template. Just go to the blog and you can have this template with everything in here so you can copy it for yourself in your own Google Drive and change it however you wish. So first thing you probably want to do is just go ahead and change the Bitmoji right here. Hopefully you have the Bitmoji add-on in Google Chrome and you just search Christmas and it'll be right there and you'll be able to add it on in. And of course you could change the title, whatever you needed to, if you need holidays, Hanukkah, anything you need. Now, here's what you could do is you could give students just a slide where it has a background and if you notice, I have a lot of the same shapes or actually the exact same shapes on both. So one indoor, one outdoor. So we could give our students two different options on what they want to do. And you could just tell them, all right, I want you to decorate a scene that you're going to use for your card. Now, then you could teach students everything they need to know. So from clicking and dragging around their image to dragging their images bigger or smaller to make their sizes match then they'll start to notice that you know images are behind or in front of other images so maybe they want the christmas tree to be in front of the sleigh so when they click on something they right click and then order they could bring that to the front and then now it will be in front of the other one so there's a lot they can do there with making things uh whatever depth they want on the picture now you could also show them with the christmas packages so with those packages same thing do they want them bigger or smaller they could learn how to delete so with the delete key or right clicking and delete so you could show them how to do that you could show them how to copy things so whether it's you know control c and then to paste control v and now you have two Santas or right clicking with that copy, right clicking and with paste so they can have those again because maybe they want more reindeers, that kind of thing. You could also show them more and more. So as far as you want to take your students, as far as you think they'll be able to go, or if you have some more advanced students, you could you know, just take those group of students and show them more advanced things. So if you click on an image, you could always go to format options and then you'll have some more options here. Like recolor is a great one because let's say they want different color snowflakes. Then they could be making those different color snowflakes and they could, you know, copy and then paste another snowflake and then change that snowflakes color so they have more on the page. So they'll be able to do things like that. Maybe they want to change their candy cane colors. So it's something else. Maybe you want to teach them something easy like control V or, you know, undo redo buttons. So maybe they're not ready for the control buttons, but maybe they want to redo and put that back. Maybe they want to undo because they messed up give them those options. And maybe they want to be a little more advanced where they're saying, I want to put a drop shadow on things. So you could watch around the cup, show them how it makes it pop out of the screen a little better for their art skills. Maybe they want to put something in Santa's hand there. And again, maybe they want to put that, you know, bring it to the front. Maybe they want to bring it to the back. Maybe, you know, maybe Santa will be behind it. Who knows what we want to do? So they have all those options. Again, they could be deleting things out of the picture, moving them around however they want to. If they decide, well, hey, maybe I don't like that background there. Maybe I don't like either of those backgrounds. If you think they're ready for it, then you could show them background up here. And they could just pick, 
you know, a simple color and it could just change the color of their background. Or maybe they want to change the whole background so they could choose an image. Now, most likely they're going to have to do a Google image search. So maybe they want to search something like Christmas background. Maybe they want to just, you know, snow, who knows what they want, but they simply just pick something and then just click on it and push insert. So you could easily show them how they could change their background to do that if they wish. If they're looking for maybe something different, maybe they're looking for a specific type of, you know, gingerbread man type of idea, or maybe they want something that's not in their image, you could show them how to insert an image, search from the web, and they could be looking for something specific. So maybe they want gingerbread, maybe they want gingerbread girl. So then they could look for one and then maybe they'll find something maybe they won't find something they could look for something specific so maybe they say well my dog is always here for christmas but then now they're going to have real pictures right so you could teach them about clip art is kind of that cartoony style art for them so maybe they'll be able to find something else that they're looking for then you could show them they could just click on the picture and drag it on in and their dog will be there but if you notice this one has a background so you could teach them to be looking for something else then maybe another one that doesn't have a background on the dog and you'll be able to drag something on in and resize those if they're not good at the click and drag they could always just click on something and then push insert and it'll insert it into the picture once it's ready and it will be there as well. You could also go down. Maybe you want them to, you know, design a Christmas tree so they could, you know, move around those packages. So practicing, you know, moving things, maybe something more easy. You could make the page less cluttered, less for them. You know, you could make the sizes a little bit easier for them, you know, because obviously that candy cane would be too big for the tree. So you'd have to shrink it down, but maybe they're not ready for that type of thing yet. But if they are, you could show them how to drag from the corner because that would be good. If they're dragging from the sides, then it stretches out. Same thing if they drag from top, stretching out, not a good idea. So you could teach them dragging from those corners. Now I'm sure every kid in the world will say, that candy can is facing the wrong way and they're not happy with it, right? So you could show them right clicking and rotating horizontally. So if they can learn that, then you could be able to have them flip that the right way as well. So just think whatever level your students are, whatever level you'd like them to be at, then they'll be able to do things so you could give them those expectations. If you'd like them to write words on their card, which would obviously be great, you know, they could do the same thing. They could look for their own background. You could keep this background here. I already put a font in a size that would work for a short message, and they could simply delete this out and type their message in there as well. On the slide before, I put a word bank with a lot of holiday words that should work for them. So then those holiday words could be all in there and they'd be able to either copy and paste that word or see how it's spelled or maybe these words will help them when they're searching for pictures so if they want to add a picture but they're not sure how to spell reindeer we already have it there so then when they're inserting something then they would know how to spell things if you want to take it even further you could have them build something snowman christmas tree a present by using the shapes tool so if you're not familiar with the shapes tool, it's right up here. And they could just practice on things like, well, maybe a present, you know, is kind of rectangle, but maybe you don't want it white. So you would just have to change the color to something else. And then you're like, hmm, I'm going to need a ribbon going down there. So then maybe we need another rectangle like going down the middle, right? And then maybe we need another rectangle going down the side and they could be as creative as they want and be able to do that so you could show them about changing the color maybe they want to change the borders on their presence 
they could be, you know, having different types of lines. Maybe they want just different scribbles and things. So they're drawing things, but you could start showing them all these little buttons with different arrows, maybe different symbol signs that will help them out. Maybe they want to learn about, you know, the width of different borders or border dashes, different things. So you could try to think around and look. And depending on your students, they might be able to teach other students or to teach you things. Because obviously we don't know everything. We don't know all the features of everything we're looking for. So you could always say to your students, does anyone know how to do this? Could anyone show us how to do this? Can anyone figure out how we're able to do this? If you see something that one of your students is doing, you can invite them to teach everyone. You can invite them to teach you and you could show others. But again, no matter what level they're at, whether it's just dragging and dropping something in place and you made them all perfect sizes already, whether even if you had a custom message would just fill in the blanks and they put their name in there, it should be able to work for any age. And of course, if they're using Chromebooks, they could even take a picture using that front camera, right? And they'd be able to load or upload from their computer you know they'd be able to use their camera to take a picture if they want a picture on their card and you'd be able to show them how to do everything so they might just have to push allow get their little picture insert their picture they could put that on the card for them and very easy and they could do that as many times as they need to until they get it perfect if you need anything go ahead and ask see you later have a good night